I would like you to watch this video. Pay attention because this video is going to teach you in details how to solve this type of question. This video will teach you in details how to find or how to simplify this type of questions, no matter how hard it appears. All right, welcome back to my channel. All I want you to do for me is to pay attention. Okay, first of all, you will use we normally use two tricks in order to solve this. It's not really a trick, I'm trying it's an idea and it works all the time. The first thing you need to always look out for is is there a way I can get say something like a plus b all squared, which is same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab or a minus b squared, which is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab from whatever I have here. And we always start solving from the outermost part. That is one thing you need to check out for. Another thing is look out for any number that is not in its simplest form and simplify it. Okay? All right. Now, in order not to confuse you further, let me explain in details. If you look at this part of this particular um, expression, you will notice that we have with 5 here. Can we get 5 here? There is 5 in 14, right? Yes, because 9 plus 5 is 14. And that 9 is same thing as 3 squared. And we can get 3 as well from 6 because 6 is 2 times 3. So the perfect way to manipulate this is to change this 14 to 9 plus 5. Remember, our goal is to get a plus b squared so that we can remove this root sign. Remember that square root of x, if you can square it, you remove your root sign and you get your x. So in order to get a number without this root, we need to make this number under right here to become a square. Now let us do it. So we are going to have that 14 is 9 plus 5. So we'll write this to be equal to the square root of square root of 441 plus 16 root 9 plus 5 plus 6 root 5. Now, this is equal to the square root of square root of 441 plus 16. Now, I want you to remember that square root of a squared is equal to a. So, that means I can write this as the square root of so I can write 9 as 3 squared, but I can write 5 as square root of 5 squared using this particular rule. So plus, now 6 is 2 multiplied by 3. Then we have root 5. Okay? Please hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell. Because trust me, you will be very glad you joined this family, okay? We give you amazing math questions and their solutions. So tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. And <laughs> congratulations to us. Our silver play button has arrived in recognition of us reaching 100,000 subscribers. So I'll be doing a video to unbox this with you people because you made me what I am. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So there is no me without you. And that award is dedicated to all of us together, not just me. So I'll be doing a video to unbox it with you guys. All right. So anticipate for that particular video. All right. So back to what we are doing. We have the square root of the square root of 441 plus 16. Um, roots now remember, remember that let me open it here a plus b squared. I told you this is always our target. 
is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2 multiplied by a, a being 3, multiplied by b, b being root 5. Okay, so that means we can write here to be a plus b squared. That is 3 plus root 5 squared. Yes, that's where we'll be able to remove this and square root sign and we are getting closer to our solution. Amazing, right? So this is equal to the square root of the square root of 441 plus 16. Now root, we remove your square root. So we have 16 multiplied by 3 plus root 5. All right? Now this is equal to, let us simplify root 441. So I'm going to give you a way that you can use to simplify any sort, no matter how big that sort looks. So even though this looks like a large number, some of us doesn't know that this is 21 squared. Now, how do you get to know? So we have 4, 4, 1. The first thing we need to do is we check the smallest factor of 4, 4, 1, which is 3. Yes, 2 cannot divide this. It's not an even number. Now, how do you know that 3 can divide a number? When you sum up the digits and the sum gives you a number divisible by 3, then definitely that number is divisible by 3. For example, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So, 4, 4, 1 must be divisible by 3. Okay? So, we use 3. Now, when 3 divides 4, you have 1, 1, remainder 1. 14 divided by 3, we have 4, 4, remainder 2. 21 divided by 3, we have 7. Now, let's check again if this is divisible by 3. If you check it, you will see 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5 plus 7 is 12. So, 12 is divisible by 3. So, definitely, this number is divisible by 3. So, we go with 3 again. 14 divided by 3, we give us 4, 4, remainder 2. 27 divided by 3 will give us 9. Okay, now 49 is very obvious. 7 and 7 and we are done. So 7 divides 49 is 7. 7 divides 7 is 1. Now, what do you do? Because we this is square root, we combine two numbers that are the same and multiply them. Multiply two same digits together. So we multiply 3 and 3 to give us 9. Multiply 7 and 7 to give us 49, okay? So if you look at this, you see 9 and 49. So it means that we can actually describe, uh, we write root 441 as root 9 times root 49. Now this is what I mean. So we have the square root of, so this is now square root of 9 multiplied by 49, okay? This one plus 16 brackets 3 plus root 5. So this is equal to remember that square root of a b, just like we have a and b here, is sent in as square root of a multiplied by square root of b. So we have the square root of the square root of 9 multiply by square root of 49, okay, plus 16, bracket 3, plus root 5. Permit me to claim part of this. So, now we have the square root of, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 49 is 7. You can see that, right? Plus 16 brackets 3 plus root 5. So this is equal to the square root of 21 plus 16 brackets 3 plus root 5. Okay. So this is equal to the square root 
of 21 plus 16 times 3 is 48 plus 16 root 15. So we have the square root of 21 plus 48 is 69 plus 16 root 15. Now remember our target all the time. Our target all the time is to make whatever that is here squared using a plus b all squared, which is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Or a minus b all squared. We just need this to be a squared so that we can remove the root sign. So what I will do now is to look at this. This is 16, right? And this is 69. Now 16 can be give, it can be written as 2 times 8. And I can see 64 here. 64 plus 5, right? This is 5, sorry. Where did I get 15 from? Okay. <laughs> so this 69 can be written as 64 plus 5. Okay. I'm using 64 because I know 64 is 8 squared. And there is 8 in 16. And we have root 5 already. And this is 5. So with this, I can form whatever I want to form. Get a square of this. So this will be equal to square root of 64 plus 5. Plus 16 is 2 multiplied by 8 root 5. So this is equal to the square root. I hope you can still see this. Of 64 is 8 squared plus 5. Plus 2 multiplied by 8 root 5. I just hope this helps. Okay? So that any time you have a question in this form, you have an idea. You will have an idea of what to do. Okay? At least give you an idea of how to try it out. So, we have 8 squared plus 5 plus 2 multiplied by 8 root 5. Now, 5, we have root 5 here. So, what we need here is root 5 and not 5. Okay? So, this 5 is the same thing as root 5 squared. Yes. So we now write this to be equal to the square root a squared plus root 5 squared plus 2 multiplied by 8 root 5. So we now have a squared plus b squared plus 2 multiplied by a, which is 8, multiplied by b, which is root 5. And this is equal to a plus b squared. We have formed that. Let me come to this side. Okay. Now we can now write this as the square root of 8 plus root 5 squared. So this is equal to, this we remove this, and we have 8 plus root 5. And this is the answer. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.